Hey, welcome back. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're doing another cool piece of treasure that you incorporated into your campaign. Yes, when you guys were going slaughtering the giants uh, and... Um, and but, running away from them. And running away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, running away from and killing one every so often. <laughs> um, so, well, actually, Josh's character died yeah. last turn, but then he got resurrected, so he was really lucky. Yeah. Um, I'm and, lower level than everybody. I'm like a level three or something. So yeah, like, but you have to sneak around a little bit more. I don't fight a lot of giants. Yeah. I, I'm a third level cleric, so I just kind of heal people who are fighting giants. I hide behind them and cure light wounds them. <laughs> it's, it's not particularly badass. <laughs> but I fulfill a vital role in our party. <laughs> yes, he's necessary. I'm here. I've got one hand touching the dude to heal him and... My entire body turned this way so that I can sprint forward if I have to. <laughs> if I have to run away, so you can run I'm looking, fast. I'm gonna be like that twig golem with the <laughs> with the ham leg, just running as fast yes. as I can. <laughs> we'll put a link to that twig golem video. Yes, we can do that. Yeah. I'm learning how to put links in YouTube videos. <laughs> so I was trying to come up again. Ben and I always talk about cool treasure because we want something interesting we try to come up with something um interesting as opposed to just like bags of gold and gems which is fun but it's it's boring yeah yeah i mean like yeah and and one thing that you play really well that i i never have done much and i think a lot of dungeon masters don't do is um you assign like weight to the gold coins and stuff right mm -hmm. so like uh, I remember being kind of surprised when we first started playing with you because you were like, oh, well, you find like um, a chest and it's got like, you know, a 2,000 coppers in it. And I was like, oh, okay, so I just write 200 GP on my character sheet. And you're like, no, no, it's 2,000 copper coins in a treasure chest. Like, you're going to pick it up and you got to carry this thing around. And we ended up abandoning it because it was like, well, you know, it's not worth that to like carry around this like sack of stuff and it's like you need a hand to do it because it's like too much gear you throw it all in your backpack and it starts to encumber you and stuff yeah um and so one cool thing about pieces of treasure is that they don't weigh as much if you have like a little thing that's like this that's made out of solid gold okay like that's worth a ton of gold mm -hmm. and it's much lighter and easier to carry you can yeah. just stuff it in your backpack yeah you can stuff it in a belt or just carry it in your hand if if need be yeah yeah, and um, or I like jewelry that you can wear. Yeah, and so I was going through, um, I was going through a bunch of Egyptian and Greek gold jewelry because I wanted to paint something, and I didn't have a lot of time because I had these other deadlines, and I thought, man, I got to paint something for this next adventure, but I don't have that much time, and then I came across this cool thing that was Egyptian and Greek at the same time. I'd never seen anything like it before, and it's this cool snake bracelet. It was so awesome. And I saw oh, several wow. different versions of this. Um, apparently, this was some kind of Greek, Egyptian kind of cross-pollinization of art culture. Hmm. And they uh, apparently both cultures wore these things. And I went... It's an armband kind of thing? Yeah, it goes on your arm. And it has a jewel in it. And I thought, well, what if it's magical and these snakes can come alive and fight for you? Oh, that's cool. And bite people. That's cool. Do they bite? Does it? Do you throw it down like Moses, or do they like if somebody hits you, the snake can like bite them back? Uh, when you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the snake can just jump out and bite oh, people. That's cool. On a command word or something. You know what this makes me think of? Just the look of it makes me think of Cleopatra, who was also Greek and Egyptian. Yes. And <laughs> yes. who was killed by a snake bite? <laughs> yes. That's true. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, she committed suicide with a snake. That's right. Uh, Romans a poisonous were, ass. Romans were knocking on the door and she She's like, committed <laughs> suicide by allowing herself to be bit by a poisonous snake. Yeah, that's so kind of an kind of an awesome way to as far as like if there's ways to go out, that's not one it's, of the really bad ones. It's unique and interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take some real thought to put put that one together. I'll bite myself with a poisonous snake. Yeah. Can well, I have a cup of coffee and two poisonous snakes, please? Yeah. All right. Uh, second thought, make that an Irish coffee. <laughs> Click. <laughs> second thought, hold the coffee. <laughs> yeah. Hold the coffee. Just bring in the vodka. Just bring in the whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I thought this could be cool. And it could have X number of charges in it. Like, it uh, it can be done maybe once a day. Or it can be only done certain times before the 
magic wears out and it has to be recharged or re-enchanted yeah. or something. Yeah. And it is gold. It does have a jewel on it, so it has some value to it, even if it's non-magical. Yeah. So you can always have... And, again, you can wear it as opposed to stuffing it into a pocket mm -hmm. or, a, or a pouch or a backpack or satchel yeah. or carry it around in some other way. Yeah. You slide it onto your arm and then, yeah, you hit a guy with your sword and give him the snake, snake bite. Give him the snake bite. <laughs> and, Which, of course, these snakes could either be deadly poison or they could just make somebody sick or make them go unconscious. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, that would be dungeon master uh, yeah, discretion. Drain their strength. or Drain their strength. Various types of poisons. Uh, make them go into a coma. Mm -hmm. I mean, all sorts of different things that these poison snakes could do. And because there's two of them. One could be like the deadly poison guy, and the other one could be, I don't know, send him into psychological madness or something. I mean, who knows? Yeah. So you can get creative. Ben's going to get creative. I like He's, that. He has to write a description of all this. Yes. Stuff. You hit him and hit him with the snakes. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Cool. We think you're going to like it, too. Yeah. So if you want to read the full thing, there'll be a link in the description, and you can check out the website, and we'll have some cool stuff up for it. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.